Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to your channel. Today I'm gonna see if I can get some of this metal, use 10 or whatever you wanna call it. Here, 5B, I guess what's called. But anyway, I got enough to do the bottom of the cage here. And I'm gonna try to get most of it put up today. I'm gonna to try because it is very, very, very hot up here again today. I ain't been out here, but there's a few minutes doing this and I'm already sweating like a pig, but we did get rid of the the ice of browns, ice of reds, whatever you want to call those. Uh, I gave those to my niece and her husband. So this, em this lot was empty, so we went ahead and turned the uh, zombie chickens that we hatched. We put them over there in the big lot over there inside the barn here. So just let just let them get accustomed you know, to, the, to the place. And then once we get done, we'll put them over here. We also got three small turkeys. But anyway, I'm gonna get the, I'm trying to get started on this as much as I can. Like I said, it's, it's very hot up here, so. I've already knocked my first piece of this up. Pull it down right there where the baby can't get on. Go see if it fits and I'll show you what I'm doing. Just gotta cut this part out enough for it to basically fold out or cut it off somewhere or another. Go around this pipe and then behind it because I'm gonna put it in behind the pipe. So that's basically all I'm doing is just cutting it to fit the ground and then level up here on this board here. Then we'll go back and put like a, a trim board on like we've done in there. Maybe, I mean, it all depends, so. Wait, is that good? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. All right, guys, I got, got this much of it done. Right there. That's uh, half of it. Definitely half. It's just so hot out here. It's 99.9 .9 degrees on the front porch. So it's 100 degrees out here. And <clears throat> right now it's kind of a little bit cloudy. So I'm going to try to get a little bit more done. I got to do this end. And then the other half of that and then the front side. But I should be able to at least get the rest of this done. Hopefully.
as I was saying before, this stuff is not hard to cut. I cut it with these snips, like scissors. But you want to hold this side down and this side up because these snips leave like jagged edges. And I mean, them things will lay you open if you ain't careful. I'm normally bleeding all over by now, so I know from experience. Okay. Anyway. I just went and looked a second ago and it's 101 degrees in the shade on that front porch. So I'm gonna show you guys just a little screenshot of the thermometer or whatever that you wanna call that thing. Mm -hmm. 101.5. That's what it's gonna look like. Of course, I'm gonna go back and paint it, of course. I just like using that old rough metal like that. One, it saves a lot of money on like plywood and stuff like that and that's way more durable. That'll last for years longer than wood. So that's kind of the idea behind it. So you gotta do that in and over at the door. Well, I'm gonna try to get the front side of it done because it's kind of got a little bit of shade here. And as I just showed you, that's 101 degrees out here right now. So I don't want to push it too much in the sun. Anyway, I want to get this done. That'll be 35 inches. And just once I just fold it around. Money. Then probably what I'm gonna do is like I done over there. I'll cut it to be here, but then I'll just lap it over, kind of like double it. Oh, and I will say that every time I do this metal, the reason it takes me so long to do another section of it is because every single time I do it, I get blisters on this finger, this finger, my thumb, and my pinky, all from doing it with these cutters. So I have to wait for the blisters to go away before I can do more. Just FYI. Getting old sucks. side is uh, <clears throat> right there on that door you know I have the front that side there done 33 inches and this right here is should be 33 yep 33 
No, it's not straight. But yes, it will work. Okay. That's pretty much it. Like I said, it, once it's painted, I mean, you won't be able to tell a whole lot. But even if you can, I don't care. Well, as you can see, I got the over in front. I just took it in there and just kind of folded it around a little bit and screwed it in there. So it's perfectly fine. Then I got on the door a little higher than the wall. But like I said, I'm going to paint it all anyway. So anyway, I don't care. Uh, and what's done here and what I've done is I just folded it around on the corner. That way I ain't got the sharp edge over here for the baby to get hooked on. Uh, of course, if there's a little piece like this, I fold all those in so we can't get poked. Uh, I will eventually go back with a board, a piece of wood on the top here, like a ledger board to keep it, you know, from the babies or whatever grabbing hold the top and getting cut or whatever, or me getting cut, because I'm more prone to getting hurt than they are. Uh, all the way down, got all the front done, all the way down the ground, cut it with the ground. And then so you got your predator apron here, it goes under the metal, so I still got to put the little metal stakes in the predator apron all the way around get it down and as you can see the grass is growing through it good right there already so the grass will grow through it i guess we'll put like maybe some rocks on top of it like those right there like we was doing the other side just kind of hold it down good another deterrent i still got to put my clamps back on my wire there and that's a water hose right there just in case you want that's not electrical wire it's water hose all righty i still got to do this end right here i still got to do this end with the metal well, I'm not doing it today. It's 102 degrees out here right now. So that's going to wait until it cools down a little bit. Now i got to pick up my mess. Got a few scrap pieces laying everywhere. That's the cutoffs and stuff like that. i got to get all that picked up and put away so they don't blow all over the mountain tonight or tomorrow or whatever. But anyway, that's where we're at. That's going to do it for today. Like I said, it's 102 degrees out here right now. And I gotta get all this crap picked up. And this metal is really hot when you touch it. And I gotta get me some gloves so I can pile it all up over there. One thing I like is that I gotta put a piece of screen wire here, this here, on here over the door. And then I gotta do the metal on the back side. And this whole little section here will be done, minus the feeders and the waters and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's coming together all pretty good. The predator apron looked good. I mean, it's as good as this one. And so far, knock on wood, nothing's got in here yet and killed these. So, Anyway, this is going to be, like I said, for the little, the chicks we hatched out this year. Well, they ain't chicks now. They're, they're good-sized chickens. The zombie chickens that we hatched out, we're going to try to get into raising those a little bit more. If you haven't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button. It, it's free to do. It won't cost you anything. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. I like and subscribe. There you go. Good job.